Welcome back to our channel, the channel for the latest news and untold stories about Princess Catherine, the Princess of Wales and her royal family. Today, we bring you an untold story. William and Catherine are beaming in real love as they share chilling nights and the love of sport a plenty of banter. Prince and Princess of Wales actually constructed their great relationship with Calm Nights Inn, a common passion of athletics and lots of humour. The Prince and Princess of Wales become the world's golden pair, notwithstanding having been thrust through the limelight owing to the pair's royal position. In fact, Catherine and William, who wedded in the year of 2011, have surpassed David and Victoria Beckham, as well as Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie, as the entire world's most desirable pair. Therefore, what's their private receipt for marriage bliss? Let's investigate how relaxed nights in, solid family beliefs, a common love of athletics, and lots of humour has contributed to creating their ideal relationship. And let's examine at the relationship we're all able to learn from. Catherine and William, both 41, have a trait common to every other youthful couple in devotion. They're unable to get a sufficient use of their partner. And, throughout the beginning of their romance, they have not been shy to show the entire world the amount they adore their partner. They've struggled tirelessly to adjust to the roles as an active, royal spouse plus becoming parents over the last 12 years, which has included dozens of speaking engagements, royal trips, and the arrival in the world of their three children. Banter is the primary one key to their achievements. The couple definitely have a similar wicked sense of humour and are frequently seen having a good time throughout their time on royal duties. Catherine and William, who were photographed shortly after announcing the arrival of their child, Princess Charlotte, and they've beaten David and Victoria Beckham and Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie to earn the position of the world's most gorgeous pair, and it's easy to understand the reasons. They additionally like sports, as seen by their attendance at the Rugby World Cup. The duo also enjoys tennis and has attended several Wimbledon events together. Whenever they're exchanging a quiet laugh inside the royal seat at Wimbledon or participating in a sailboat competition, humour remains their affection for one another. The royal couple's friendly competition symbolises the enormous power of their friendship. The royal family's males are frequently recognised by athletic icons, while their ladies may assume a little more submissive position, the expert explains. I believe William enjoys the idea that Catherine participates and that they can collaborate on these times together, along with the fact that they enjoy this fiercely competitive fun aspect of their relationships. It demonstrates that, although representing the future King and Queen of England, the couple are also something of an average pair who like teasing their partners. It demonstrates that the two represent a true pair, because they're able to giggle jointly. These guys are true buddies. The reality that William shares the experience with Catherine, I believe, brings them a lot more close together and indicates that the two are real friends, besides being husband and wife. We've all encountered the expression, the pair that smiles together remains together, and, while it may seem a bit cliched, Prince William and Princess Catherine receive this part of their love story down well. William is frequently vocal regarding how comparable their sensitive humour are, and by the way that pushes Catherine gently about some charming traits. The royal couple's friendly competition symbolises the enormous power of their bond. Their sincere passion for each other has contributed to endearing each other to their viewers over their global tours. According to the show of celebration, it was actually all apparently the real royal moments that drew attention to the royal couple the most. We cooed at their grins, quick touches and snatches of playfulness. Whenever they were competing, such as while they practiced cricket in Christchurch, as well as competed in a boat competition in Auckland, their chemistry was clear. In addition to the couple's physical character and going to assist them to cope through the hectic royal routines for decades afterwards, since a loving touch from a partner will comfort and aid to relax, said the specialist. Touch is a really essential due to the way it calms and reassures the entire body. It solidifies your relationship and communicates powerful matronship and protective signals. The pair has a wide range of hobbies in common, through adventures and travelling to their appreciation of art and the philanthropic endeavours that they perform. Their shared passion for sports, both observing and taking part, happens to be the most intense. 
William was born to be a sportsman, having grown up practicing polo, tennis, and rugby. Catherine, on the other hand, enjoyed an equally successful sports experience. She excelled at tennis, ice hockey, going swimming, basketball, and circles while attending the St. Andrews University in Scotland. She additionally became an avid swimmer and sports person, receiving a cup for general exceptional athletic accomplishments on prize-giving week, and she paddled alongside the sisterhood in college. She has shown that she continues to enjoy athletics by participating in hockey, rounders, and cricket while on royal duty. Catherine and William also competed in a sailboat competition during their royal tour, which Catherine topped. The pair also enjoy sports, having attended several Wimbledon tournaments in tandem and rugby events. The couple additionally possess solid family principles, which are becoming progressively more obvious following the arrival of all three of their kids. The married couple, who live in Anne Hall, want to educate their kids hidden from the limelight, similar to a normal family. Being an extended family of five, they spend their evenings here relaxing. They preferred early meals at the neighborhood bars that include the Dabbling Duck in Great Massingham, the King's Head nearby at Great Bertram, as well as the Rose and Crown in Snettingsham, whenever they're going out. Healthy interactions with family members may assist reduce stress in a marriage and give someone else to depend on, and the two of them appear to be getting together with their respective households as well, making them absolutely crucial. Combining beliefs is a key formula behind their successful partnership, and Catherine plays a significant role in their partnership's success. Sharing comparable values is essential for a healthy long-term relationship, she says. It's apparent that they are generally have comparable moral standards. Catherine is highly courteous and discreet, which has proven to be essential when marrying and entering the royal circle. They clearly share comparable norms regarding their behavior. This might be related to Catherine's background and schooling at Marlborough, which was extremely similar. They also went to the exact same university, thus their previous encounters shaped them to want to live exactly as they did in the years to come. Their sharing common acquaintances from their years at college will operate as a stabilizing component in their relationships. Their personal lives have become intertwined since college, and their familial ties are going to bring them more closely together while also adding levity to their connection. Considering an integral part of the royal household, William has a tendency to be suspicious of people's motives. Therefore, the method they encountered and the ties that they have are going to be reassuring to him. People's obsession with the monarchy will probably bring them nearer together. It creates a case of them versus us situation. Couples are compelled to accomplish activities jointly, which helps them develop in a comparable way and create an even more powerful unit. Catherine wasn't going to be wedded to William when she weren't aware of this standing in society as a whole, although it is evident that she does. William will additionally become cognizant of the fact that it is difficult for life to maintain and the fact that not every woman is capable of doing so, so he's going to have a great deal of admiration for her implementing it on him. The nature of their connection is obviously marked by mutual respect. Thanks for watching today's video. What do you think about their love and them trying to build a strong love connection? Please let us know your thoughts and I'll say goodbye 